Now, the big story that's affected so many of you today, destructive weather. Two cleanups are underway in Lottie in Bradford County, one of the places hit by severe storms early this morning. Winds damaged the roof of Lottie Correctional Institution and also a church. It was much worse, however, in the panhandle. We'll take a look at this video. A tornado pounded Pensacola, ripping a two-mile-long path of destruction. This apartment complex bore the brunt of it. The upper floor homes demolished. We also got this video from southeasternsky.com. This bird's eye view gives you an idea of just how bad the damage is throughout the city. Take a look at this house. Golly, the National Weather Service saying more than two dozen tornadoes were spawned as the storms pushed through. News 4 Jax has complete coverage from Bradford County to the Panhandle. We begin with Channel 4's Jim Piggott in Pensacola. Now, this is the Moorings apartment. This is where most of the damage occurred here in Pensacola. Take a look at this. You can see this building is just destroyed. The roof has gone off. People's clothes still hanging in the closets, but they got out of here. Most people weren't injured. Three people were slightly injured and taken to the hospital. People are grateful for that. But I can look and show you around here. You can see the other damage that occurred, these businesses across the street. This is just a mess, demolished here. They're going through this. They're cleaning up today, trying to take care of things. One thing I did notice what's happening here across the street, there are officials over here from the National Weather Service. They're obviously looking at the damage, looking at the wind to see exactly what, here, what happened here and studying what had happened. Already there are tree service trucks coming out here. Electricians are out here. Everybody is cleaning up and trying to determine what happened. Now, I've been talking to a number of people that live in this apartment complex. Coming up, we're going to hear from them to hear what they have to say and how they survived this storm. In Pensacola, Jim Pickett, Channel 4, the local station. Now, the weather wasn't nearly as severe in Bradford County. No one was injured, but there was storm damage to the Lottie Correctional Institution as well as a church nearby. That's where we find Channel 4's Heather Lee. Heather, what's the National Weather Service say? Well, you can feel it's pretty windy out here. It just started picking up, but he's been out here. He was assessing the damage, and it's just preliminary, but he believes that this was called a rear flank downdraft. So I'm going to give an example using this rock here. Basically, when you're skimming a rock across a pond, it hits the surface, and then it bounces a few times, and that's basically what happened in this situation. And uh, it was upper-level winds when it came in contact with the thunderstorm, and this church is where it bounced down at one point. You can see that there's a debris field out here. They've actually started cleaning it up, so it looks a little more organized. It wasn't like that earlier. And then this is the roof part. Uh, it's about 20% of the roof was ripped off, and the owner of the church says he really was looking to replace the roof soon, so the weather sort of got him started. Now, this is is what the correctional facility looked like. Very similar, roof torn off and left on the ground nearby. No one was injured, which is good news. The National Weather Service spoke with us about the type of wind that caused this. Actually, they're not as uncommon as people think. A lot of the downburst winds that occur with thunderstorms are these events, and uh, it's especially true when we have very, very strong jet streams moving through the area. That's why we had a tornado watch, because of the strong jet streams. Now, again, this is all preliminary. The National Weather Service has about six months to gather any additional information or facts before it makes a final determination on exactly what happened out here. For now, we're live. Heather Lee, Channel 4, the local station.